Hey guys, my name's Levy, and uh, this is a bit more about me. So I'm 20 and I'm making music for a living. She told me to run, I don't wanna die tonight. Feel it in my lungs, now I see it in your eyes. Begging you, please tell me how we're alright. Tell me how we are. Tell me how we are. Growing up in Dieppe, I mean, it's a, it's kind of like the song I wrote, Small Town, cliche, but it's uh, definitely everybody knows one another. So I mean, bad guys does travels fast, so. It's just one of those things where it was, it was great. I mean, everything's like five minutes away out of in the city, so that's not too bad. But um, you know, I loved it. I mean, I had close friends growing up, so it's not like I, you know, my, my buddies live down my street, so it's it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, the name Levy, just because I played hockey, so my nickname was Levy. Uh, my last name's Levac. Full name's Jacob Levac, but my last name's Levac, so Levy was a short. Shorter version of Levesque. Um, started with a breakup way back. I just started writing a bunch, and honestly, from writing, I was like, man, I should make songs. And <laughs> these are good lyrics, you know, th these are big good lyrics. And sure enough, it just kind of came to the point where I was like, all right, let's do it. And I rounded up my graduation money, I got my first mic, I got these monitors right there. And I um, can't remember what else. Oh, in this box to uh, record my sound, my audio interface. And I actually just started from there, traveled a lot with hockey, so I got to, to do all my stuff and learn and, and, and do my production and my producer side of things. Like, you know, making my beats and stuff all by myself. Um, when I was on the road for hockey, I had like eight hour road trips. So to me, it was just like the funnest road trips. I'd just veggie out on my laptop and just do a bunch of beats and grow and learn and find what I could probably sing to and, and that's how I kind of found my sound, you know. Uh, my biggest influence, probably I'd say Jim Morrison. I started writing poetry before I started making music, so uh, I, I would always write, read his stuff, go behind the scenes, look at his interviews and all that kind of stuff and, and look at what he was doing and how he was writing and I'd kind of, you know, idolize that and, and try to do it myself, you know, and that's how I started, right? So. I have a foundation of classic rock, is what I grew up on, so to me, I guess it's just, that's my style, and I just make it more modern and make it more hip-hop and, and pop at the same time, but with that, you know, non-cheesy classic rock style, if you know what I mean. It depends, really. I wrote, like, my best music in, like, a day you know, like overnight, and it just like took a week to record. Uh, small Town literally took me no time. I remember making the beat, and I had it sitting, which is the exception, I guess, but to, to do the lyrics, it only came to me with inspiration after like maybe a month or so, and, and you know, based on a true story, I guess, and it kind of just happened where I just took it, and I took advantage of that moment, wrote a bunch of stuff. Depends how, how motivated or how, uh, Influence. Yeah, I'll say it. it depends how into it I am really with what I'm writing. And, you know, sometimes it can be overnight, sometimes it can be, you know, a year. So it's happened. So really, it just all depends. But I, I, I'd like to say I'm a pretty quick writer when I, when I have the right energy for it. You know? Honestly, I just fell in love with music. I mean, like anybody else who listens, it's just addicting it's it's like a it's like another language and it, to me it's just i wanted to do that and and have people feel the emotion that i felt when i listened to music because before i, I wrote and I, you know started writing music i just loved music and listened to everything so it wasn't hard for me to be like wow i want to do this and you know make other people feel what i felt when i listened to music really so to me it's just you know recreating my thoughts and ideas and just wondering what people would think, you know, and, and make them feel what I feel in a way. No, uh, mostly just because I've never auditioned because I, I only kind of started singing about a year ago, a year and a half ago, so 
Yeah, to me, I was never like, oh, I'm gonna try to be the next big thing on America's Got Talent or Canadian, you know, because it was just one of those things where like, I didn't feel like I had that step. And still, I wouldn't even go now. Uh, you know, I don't really need that. I don't really see that as me, I guess. So maybe in two years, if I, you know, keep progressing in my vocals and stuff, who knows? But no, I don't think I'll, I'll be going to any singing shows or auditions anytime soon. Uh, performing. Uh, I haven't done too much performing yet, but I mean, probably my biggest one yet, which is uh, it was through a hockey fundraiser. We had to um, do like a talent show and we were raising money for a good cause and a lot of the town and the community actually came and it was packed. It was actually the first time ever that I had sang and there was about like 300 to 400 people there, maybe closer to three I guess, but I definitely was nervous, but it was a lot of fun. And it was the first time too, so i glad I got that out of the way with how big of the crowd it was, you know, so it was a good, definitely a good first experience. Uh, in five years, hopefully out of the basement, uh, maybe into a different place, making music and, you know, touring is obviously ideal, but I gotta get there first, so there's a lot of stuff, steps along the way, but, you know, just maybe doing this more full time and, and, and you know, more stable as a career. And, and if I could give myself a tip when I first started, it's just maybe a bit more patience. And, um, you know, when I started, I was super into it. I was working super hard all the time, but I, I just didn't know what I was doing. So if I could have just did a bit more research on the business and the how-to side of things when it came to putting out my music, that would have definitely helped. But uh, biggest tip I could give myself is just be more patient. I was always trying to rush things and, oh, I had to drop before a certain time, like if it was going to change my career, but it really wasn't, so it just kind of was to, to be more patient and wait it out. Message to all my fans, uh, definitely just be yourself. I mean, don't try to be somebody who you're not, and just don't be two-faced because, you know, there's no place in the world for people like that. And we don't need more people who are fake. And, you know, Hollywood dreams. Uh, I'd love to move to LA. I mean, LA would definitely be sweet, but uh, I'm super comfortable with where I'm at right now. So I guess it's just more so being patient with uh, if I, you know making that decision because it's it's obviously you know a big step. So eventually, I'll, I'll want to definitely do some work in Hollywood and do some shows and stuff because there's a lot of music there, especially. So, but right now I'm I'm, I'm digging the basement. But you know, like I said, five years from now. Who knows? Check out my Instagram at lovey is the name and uh, follow on Spotify for new updates. Thanks.